So this question uh, is pretty interesting too. They're asking you if there is a difference between having a two to one ratio of hydrogen to oxygen in the gas form versus a sample of water vapor, which in itself has a two to one ratio between hydrogen. So you have one hydrogen, two hydrogens, two of hydrogen to oxygen. Um, there's a big difference, actually. There's a huge difference. So the difference on that is that you have, um, even though there's a two to one uh, mixture of these two gases, this is a um, homogeneous mixture of gases, and they're not chemically combined, right? So you have separate hydrogen um, molecules from you have the the hydrogen molecules separate from the oxygen molecules. In a sample of water or in a water molecule, um, you have the oxygen chemically bound to both hydrogen atoms. There's a huge difference. So, um, and I guess the difference would be um, you can separate a mixture. In in many cases, you can separate a mixture through some kind of means. Um, you're, it's really, really hard to separate the oxygen from those hydrogens in water. Um it's it's an insane process. I, I can't even describe it. Um, but like for example, with the sample on the left, you lower the temperature to the point where oxygen will become a liquid. Um, it's very cold. You're talking low somewhere around minus two hundred Celsius is where oxygen condenses. Um, right. So then you'll have oxygen plus hydrogen gas. That's a way of these. Um, if you try to cool, for example, just get a mixture of, of uh, depends how low you get the temperature, but you you would get a mixture of ice and water, right? You try to lower the temperature to the water vapor. Not uh, separating the hydrogen from the oxygen in this case. Um, um, in this case, there's a huge difference between a mixture of two elements. Um, versus having a chemical compound that contains those two elements.